Okay, for my first example, I have two clips on my timeline, and the second video has black bars, so I like to increase that video's size. To do this, make sure the video clip you want to change the size of is selected on the timeline. Then, go up to Filters. Over here, click the plus button to add a filter. Under Favorites, select the size, position, and rotate one to add it to your clip. Now, to change the video size, simply drag the zoom slider. If you mess up and want to reset your video to its original size, you can just click this little reset button. Another way to change the size of your video is by dragging its handles in the preview. If you need to reposition the video in the frame, drag this circle in the middle of the video preview. Changing the size of an image works the same way. So for example, let's say I want to overlay an image on this video. First, you'll want to use the Ctrl I keyboard shortcut to add another video track to your timeline. Then we'll go over to the playlist tab where I already imported an image and drag it above my video clip on the timeline. This time, make sure your image clip is selected and go over to filters. Click the plus button to add a filter and select size, position, and rotate. Okay, now I can resize my image with these handles and move it around like I did with my video. Keep in mind that this very top handle is used to rotate your image if that's something you want to do. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching and see you next time.